welcome back to the channel everyone we are sitting around waiting for the logbook I'm gonna come up with a video on how to do this new central dispatch logboard once I get that figured out maybe in my way of learning through that I can help someone else learn through that I don't know sounds like a video to put out Someone needs to put out a video on how to deal with that thing. Because I sure don't like that new Central Dispatch. Let me know in the comments if you hate the new Central Dispatch as well. Or if you don't know how to use Central Dispatch, let me know. Maybe we can figure this thing out together. I spent all day long trying to book vehicles off of Central Dispatch. It's just stupid. It's just... It should be better. And right when you try to get home for Christmas, this is when a logbook that's electronic plugged into your truck is a bad thing. Normally, I don't have a problem with logbooks being electronic. I really don't care. I don't run that hard. But it's times like this that really sucks. And uh, if you don't do your planning, well, even if you do your planning, because this trip has had some freeway shutdowns, that sort of thing, that has delayed me and kind of screwed me over. So, that sort of thing will happen inconveniently. And uh, we just have to do deal with it. Talking about shutdowns freeway closures I've dealt with two of them in the last week and a half I got stuck in Ogallala Nebraska for two days in the blizzard there and I-84 was shut down yesterday most all day long uh, because of a fatality semi crash uh, the freeway was shut down eastbound from Troutdale to uh, Hood River and we couldn't go anywhere so and there wasn't parking anywhere either there's trucks lined all the way down 84 the truck stops of course is always full in Troutdale and no parking at Jubits like every place was full so on the side of the freeway is where we sat so in times like this what well, in winter time especially you should have minimum of a week supply of food that you can eat without having to worry about heating things up all that kind of stuff uh, canned food is a good thing even if you got to eat it cold or put it on the manifold of your motor or whatever it's also good to fuel up at certain spots knowing that you could especially across i-80 i-90 i-94 in the winter time keep your fuel tanks full keep your uh, ice box or cooler or refrigerator whatever you have full of food blankets coveralls that sort of thing chains it's winter time so be prepared that's all I'm saying uh, my truck I've got you know a 5,000 watt inverter I got a refrigerator I got a microwave air fryer frying pan I mean you name it I got it in here I got food in my cupboard in my refrigerator so yeah I was prepared but it still sucks because you lose out on revenue you sit there and burn fuel so it's that time of year Merry Christmas everyone hope you all find uh, this time of the year happy and joyful you get to spend it with family that's the most important part so enjoy the holidays. We'll catch you after the holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year.